This video is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. Guys, this incredible wallet is light, sleek, and industrial. It doesn't fold or awkwardly bulge out of your back pocket. It goes in your front pocket and it seriously changed my whole pocket game. If you moved on from the flip phone, don't you think it's time to let that 90s style wallet that your father uses behind? Ridge Wallets hold the 12 cards, plus all the cash you need. Choose from over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. It is the best wallet you can buy, and you don't just have to take my word for it because there's over 30,000 five-star reviews. I was skeptical at first, but once I tried it, I will never go back. And guess what, guys? There's no pressure for you. Test it out for 45 days. If you don't love it, send it back full refund. If you decide to keep it, there's a lifetime warranty. Click the link in the description to get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns. Go to ridge.com slash chael. That's ridge.com slash chael and use the promo code chael. Let's get into Evander versus Vitor. Going into this fight, and the timeline is extremely important. Not don't, don't think about what we know now. Don't think about how obvious what we know now is. You have to back up to when this fight gets announced, Evander comes off as a two and a half to one favorite. A favorite. It was a little bit surprising that Vitor didn't flinch. I mean, the, the fact that Vitor was changing his body and his physiology to get ready to make 185 pounds, and with the snap of a fingers, is now in open weight class. There's nothing he could have weighed in at that would have been heavy enough that they would have canceled the fight. Pretty damn big change. He was a favorite, I'm talking about Vitor, to beat De La Hoya. Slight, but favorite. And now he goes to a two and a half to one dog against an opponent he knows nothing about. In terms of right now and where's this guy, it was a big risk by Vitor. It really was a big risk. Now, one day before the weigh-ins, two days before bell time, uh, open workout surfaces of Evander Holyfield, and it was a disaster. It was an absolute disaster. And you start to see, man, I don't know that this fight should happen. You start to see why Andy Foster in California said, we're going to assess this person. We don't have time to assess, and therefore we're not going to hold the fight. But you now start to see what Andy Foster was thinking, and you start to see just how smart and how forward ahead of this thing Andy Foster was. Fight happens. Goes exactly as that training footage would lead you to believe, which is Evander just doesn't know where he is or what he's doing. There's a point in that fight where Evander slips. And when he slips, he falls. As a matter of fact, he falls through the ropes. Now, this is the point of sad, right? You have scary. You have combat. You have There's some scary things that can happen. We all know that going in. Now you're at the point of sad, of what do we do now? We can see that one man who we have wonderful memories of, who officially falls in the class of a senior citizen, is about to be bludgeoned by another sharp, prepared, hungry, younger athlete. What do we do? The referee stepped in and stopped it. Now, there are fights that are stopped via TKO while a guy is still standing. Connor versus Floyd would be a fine example. I've seen that a number of times. It's rare. I have seen it a number of times. I have never seen a standing TKO in boxing in round one in my life. I've never seen that. Absolutely the right call. Absolutely the right thing to do. And we're all done. Now it's Vitor's moment. And for Vitor to cut a promo the way that he did after that fight, you, you must understand his frame of mind. Vitor's still scared. Vitor does not know what we now all saw and see. All Vitor knows is I got to go fight a guy that the experts say I, I'm two and a half one, unlikely to beat, who I grew up watching, who looks like he's carved out of stone. Remember, this is, this is Vitor's standpoint. So for Vitor to have a little bit of relief and to go cut a promo, I got it. It was authentic and it was real. And Vitor called out Logan Paul. Now, this was one of my favorite parts of the night because you have one liar who gets in the ring and says they have $25 million, winner take all, to put in this. He quickly gets trumped by his partner, who's a bigger liar, and adds five million more lies to it and says, we'll put up $30 million, winner take all. So that was just a, a piece of comedy. But where this got interesting and where I am laying out what the true main event was 
If Anderson went after a Paul brother and Vitor went after a Paul brother, you would think that you would tip the hat to Vitor, but I think many other people were saying, no, there's something better here with Anderson. For whatever reason, there's something better here. Now, Anderson helped Vitor tremendously because Anderson people want to get Anderson and Vitor together. Very low-hanging fruit. I believe Junior Dos Santos, who was calling the action on the feed that I had, even said that. Pretty obvious that you could get those guys together. Anderson squashed it, says, forget it. That part is done. It's me and Vitor. We're going to take out the Paul brothers. Now, that is a storyline that works. Having Anderson fight Vitor, fine. Whatever, fine. Having Anderson team with Vitor to go against the Paul brothers, and how are you going to work that out? Which Paul goes here and which Paul goes there, and it's the same night. Who's the co-main? Who's the main? That's interesting. That's an interesting story. I think that nothing from a marketing standpoint as to when one fight ends, preparation for the next fight begins. I don't think anything was as helpful as that. I hope someone runs with it. I haven't seen anybody run with it. I, I think I'm the first to maybe bring it to your guys' attention, but it was a great piece of theater done by Anderson. You're not going to get me and Vitor against each other. Me and Vitor are now going to team up. Fellow Brazilians, former opponents, we're on the same team now and we're taking on these two. It's great. It works. The story works.